morning everyone in this lecture we are discuss the mixed design method uh, the method we are discuss in this lecture that is american concrete institute so first of all what is the mixed design so what is a concrete mixed design mixed design is defined as a process of selecting suitable ingredient of concrete and determine their relative proportion with the object of producing concrete of certain minimum strength and durability as economically as possible that means if you are prepare a mix so the main constraint of the concrete that is our uh, cement fine aggregate coarse aggregate and core consistency that is water now what proportion we use in a particular mix design so to sufficient a design strength or a particular durability in our economic condi conditions so now the variable proportioning for core variable factors that are considered first is the water cement ratio second is the cement aggregate ratio gradation of the aggregate and consistency so discuss what what is the water cement ratio this is the ratio of uh, water to cement second is cement and aggregate ratio and gradation of aggregate gradation of aggregate that means the uh, aggregates are well graded gap graded and what are the uh, sizes of the aggregate are available at that particular uh, in concrete and consistency that is the also depends on the water content next in design mix is generally two three factors are specified and other are adjusted firstly we discuss the factors that are specified and some are adjusted like quantity that will be adjusted we use minimum amount of cement paste that is can lubricant the mass will bind this so first of all we decide the what uh, what amount of cement paste to be required for a particular concrete to bind all the aggregates and uh, provide a lubrication to all the coarse aggregate to be flow and excess paste involved if we are used excess paste or cement uh, paste that uh, that will be the reason for the shrinkage and impermeability of the concrete and good gradation of concrete is the minimum of the what the density is maximum in case of good gradation of that particular aggregate so these are some methods uh, for design mix first is the indian standard recommendations methods as per indian standard code 10262 american concrete institute methods that we are discussed in this lecture doi method mix design pumpable concrete indian road congress method road road num root number uh, four and grading curve method mix design is flexible strength arbitrary proportions fineness modulus method maximum density method and surface area method these are some methods to be designed so in this lecture we are discuss about the american concrete institute method for mix design aci two double one the american concrete institute method is mix design the following data to be collected firstly when we are designed any concrete so what is the fineness modulus of the fine uh, fine aggregate specific gravity of the coarse and fine aggregate and absorption characters of the coarse and fine aggregate and last one is the specific gravity of cement so these data to be collected before design of a, any concrete mix the following steps are to be uh, followed in a aci method uh, first is the from minimum strength specified estimate average design strength using the standard deviation method so first of all you have to discuss the what you mean strength to be required at a particular concrete uh, that will be uh, find out after that some standard deviation to be applied second find the water cement ratio from table number two and find water cement ratio durability from table number three and add up the lower values we have discussed about the table number two and three is also so from table number two two and three we are discussed uh, what amount of water cement ratio is to be adopted and third is decide the maximum size of aggregate generally 20 mm for rcc the maximum size of aggregate is also depends the distance between the forms the maximum size uh, of aggregate to be used and the uh, spacing between the uh, reinforcement materials and also depends on the uh, thickness of particular slab uh, third one uh, fourth one is decide the burglarity in terms of slum so aci methods prefer to the uh, burglarity to find by the slum uh, the slum value is also decided according to the uh, construction uh, process purpose uh, where we use an a road construction building structure like that and max total water in kg for meter cube is required from table number five table number and entering the table with the selected slum select maximum size of aggregate and after that we decide the total water to be used in that particular concrete or that is depends upon the maximum size of aggregate and the slum to be required at that particular concrete mix max cement contain is computed by dividing the total water cement ratio is if you uh, 
already find the water cement ratio and water content then you can uh, you can find easily uh, water content and cement content also next from table number 4 the bulk uh, volume of dry road course aggregate and unit volume aggregate will be selected uh, for particular maximum size of aggregate the particular maximum size aggregate is 10 and 12.5 and 20 the dependency of the uh, total volume is depend on the maximum size of aggregate the weight of uh, course aggregate per meter cube of concrete calculated by multiplying the bulk volume the bulk density and the solid volume of course aggregate in one uh, meter cube of concrete is calculated by knowing the specific gravity of course aggregate next the solid volume of content uh, cement water volume air to be calculated in one meter cube of concrete and solid volume of sand is calculated by the subtracting the solid volume of the cement course aggregate water air from the total concrete now sand is calculated by the uh, uh, by the subtracting the all the parts uh, all the constants that are used in that particular concrete mix now weight on the last step is the weight of the finite grid is calculated by multiplying the solid volume of finite grid by the specific gravity of the finite grid these are the steps to be followed in design of a acr uh, next the table number uh, first we are discussed the first table is about the dry volume bulk volume course aggregate unit volume of concrete as per the aci here these are the um, maximum size of aggregate 10 12.5 20 and 150 and these are the fine uh, fine modulus fineness modulus 2.4 2.6 2.8 and 3 the bulk volume dry total unit volume uh, unit volume of concrete for the finest modulus and are uh, defined for these terms for the maximum size of aggregate is 10 then or finest modulus of the uh, aggregate that's 24 2.4 then the dry bulk modulus is 0.5 these are the values from different, uh, different different maximum size of aggregate and bulk modulus of that particular aggregate. Second table is relation between the water cement ratio and average compressive strength of concrete to be required. Uh, these are the compressive strength in megapascal or Newton per mm square. If we require 45 Newton per mm square concrete strength for non air and concrete, the effective water cement ratio is 0.38. And if the required strength is 40, then value is 0.43. If required value is 35, then value is 0.48. These are for non air and air and drain concrete. If we use the air and drain as in some resins, then the water cement ratio will be altered. Next table number three: requirement of ACI 31892 for water cement ratio and strength of specific exposure conditions. These are some exposure conditions: the mild, moderate, extreme, extreme, severe conditions. These are dependency of the environmental of that particular conditions. So these tables to be used for exposure conditions, maximum water cement ratio, density, aggregate concrete, and minimum design strength of the concrete. So first of all, we discuss about the exposure of fresh water. If the concrete is only exposed to fresh water, there the maximum water cement ratio is 0.5, and the minimum strength of concrete should be used, that is 25 Newton per mm square or megapascal. These are some exposure conditions and relative maximum water cement ratio and minimum strength of the concrete to be used in that particular system. Um, table number four is recommendation of the value of slump of various type of construction. If the construction to be used in reinforced foundation and wall footing, then slump uh, required that is 20 to 80. Plain footing and subtractive wall, the slump 20 to 80. Building columns 20 to 100. Pavement and slab 20 to 80. And mass concrete. These are some uh, range of slump that to be decided according to the purpose of construction yeah, or type of the construction. Uh, next table number five is approximate required to mixing water and air content uh, different workabilities and nominal mix size of aggregate as per the aci the non-air and concrete if we are discussed about the non-air and concrete the workability to be slump and next we are discussed the water content to be required for concrete indicate the maximum size of aggregate if the maximum size of aggregate is 10 and workability is required 30 to 50 mm then the water content is required to uh, 205 kg for meter cube. If the maximum size of aggregate 12.5 and required slump is uh, 30 to 50 mm, that is required is the water content required is 200 kg per meter cube. These values are depend on the table table number five. Next, now come to the table number six. The first estimate the density of fresh concrete. So, so uh, firstly, you have to calculate the density of fresh concrete. Uh, if the maximum size of aggregate is 10 then the non in concrete that density is at 2285 
kg per meter cube if the concrete is air entering then the density will be reduced uh, some amount and these are some uh, maximum size of aggregate uh, 10 12.5 and 20 these are the uh, density of fresh concrete uh, in both the conditions non air ten non air entrained and air entering conditions next the uh, table 7 is required increase the strength of mean strength or specified by design strength when no test recorded are available if we have some tests then we require the standard deviation values to be applied the specific design strength is less than 20 then the required increase in strength is 7 if the design strength is required 21 to 35 then we require uh, the required increase in strength is 8.5 if the concrete grade is required more than 35 then the required increase in strength is 10. Uh, now we discuss an example for ACI method how to design the concrete mix and uh, firstly design concrete mix for construction elevated water tank and we are uh, use the that concrete at a particular design of a water tank the specific design strength is required is 30 megapascal and standard deviation to be given that is 4 megapascal the specific gravity and fine aggregate and coarse aggregate is also given 2.65 and 2.7 the dry rounded bulk density of coarse aggregate is also given 1600 kg per meter cube finest modulus of fine aggregate that is 2.8 slump value is required that is 50 mm coarse aggregate is absorbed up to 1 percent and free water moisture or inside is available that is equals to 12 2 percent sorry so now comes to the calculation firstly we decide the mean strength or fm fm is the uh, minimum strength plus uh, a factor that is k k is standard deviation uh, s is the standard deviation k is the coefficient that is equals to mostly in this case is 1.64 this is depends upon the probability curve then if required f c k f minimum that is 30 then f mean equals to 30 plus 1.64 into standard deviation that in given that is given in question is that is 4 so then the value of mean strength is 36.5 from table number 2 we are calculate the water cement ratio that is 0.47 from exposure conditions is also given in table the water maximum water cement ratio is 0.5 and the minimum of value of these two values 0 0.47 and 0 0.5 we adopt the minimum value that is 0 0.47 from table number 5 for slum 50 mm and 20 mm maximum size of aggregate and non air entered condition mixing water is required 185 kg per meter cube that is also taken from table number 5 and required cement contained is 185 oblique 0.45 so then if you have already water cement ratio and the content of water then you can calculate the required cement content uh, that is 394 kg per meter cube from table number one of 20 mm coarse aggregate and fineness fine aggregate 2.8 the dry road bulk volume of coarse aggregate that is 0.62 the weight of coarse aggregate is given by the modulus multiplied by the specific gravity of that particular uh, aggregate the coarse aggregate uh, weight is 990 kg per meter cube from table number six the first estimate the density of fresh concrete is 20 mm coarse aggregate and non air concrete is 2355 kg per meter cube the weight of all aggregate that are fine to be 185 kg for water and cement is 394 kg per meter cube, weight of course aggregate is 992 kg meter cube and weight of sand, the weight of sand is the total weight minus all the ingredients that is uh, 784 kg per meter cube. So these are the ingredients and uh, what is the absolute volume, so cement required the weight is 394 and absolute volume, what is the absolute volume, uh, the total weight divided by the specific gravity of the cement, the specific gravity of cement is 3.15 then the absolute volume in center meter cube these values are in meter cube like we are required in centimeter cube to multiply by 10 to power 3 now comes to the water the weight of water is required 185 kg per meter cube and the specific gravity is also 1 then the absolute volume required in centimeter cube is 185 into 10 to power 3 coarse aggregate is 992 and the specific gravity is 2.7 and also conversion uh, from meter cube to centimeter cube multiply by 10 to power 3 and these are the required uh, absolute volume and air the air if the weight of air is to be considered as a negligible so directly we can put the value 2 and 2 percent of air content 
then 2% of that particular volume that is 20 into 10 to the power 3 these are the total absolute volume of that particular concrete this is the simply uh, method of ACI design so thank you